Guys, what's up? So, it's all put back together. Got no leaks. Well, there's some leaks, but they're not pertaining to the car being on. Um, but yeah, everything's good. I still gotta put these clamps on. And actually, I'm putting some extra clamps where it might touch. As you can see right there, there's a spot where it may touch. I'm just gonna put, literally put a, a T-bolt clamp on that. I'm gonna go back in and put it on. And so I can shield the, the aluminum from chafing. And then the other spot is underneath. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, well, actually, you can see from here. I put some of that, that tin foil. It's, uh, it's chafing there too. So I'm gonna put a clamp. Those are coming in tomorrow. But the car sounds good, man. Um, it's just, I'm, I'm so excited. Uh, the first thing I was expecting when um, when I turned this thing on was at least to see leaks or to go down to the uh, the V bands and see that there was some you know air leakage there or something like that. But, um, I mean, it's everything's pretty solid. Uh, I can't complain. I, it literally took me I want to say a month total doing weekends and. And some extra days of work uh, on the weekdays, but she's all put back together. Hopefully by this weekend I'll have her out and running down the road. I'm waiting for some, just one more MT85 can that's coming in the mail as well. So that, my clamps, and uh, oh, and that's another project I'm probably going to put a video about is... I gotta put all that together, but the ECU and everything's done. Um, I'm gonna be putting switches in here. I found them for like a dollar and something. I kept seeing it for like eight, nine dollars, and then I ran across um, thanks to somebody in uh, thanks to somebody in the 370Z forum that told me the size that they picked and that it worked perfectly. Um, I found them exactly the same size on Amazon, like a dollar for the switches. This one's gonna go to the VDC cutoff. This one is gonna go to the pump speed controller uh, bypass, so that's full gas all the time versus just metering my gas at lower speeds or at lower engine speeds. And this one, man, I just saw that the Lambo Murcielago has um, air ducting with its own fans that go into like an under shroud. And I thought of, and that's another project that I got going is an under shroud project. So I might just do something like that. This may be my air ducting uh, switch. I don't know yet, but those are going to be all my like race switches, which should be all for normal purposes. But shit, I'm going to have fun with that. So of course I got some stuff going on here. I got my tax return coming. So these fenders, the, um, these are the RS1 fenders sitting up here from Fly One, and this is, I know she looks kind of ugly right now, but I gotta get some nail polish and get the, the tape off of it. Um, I got the fiberglass version because I heard a lot of issues about, you know, uh, what you can't do once you have, you know, fitment problems uh, or gap problems and stuff like that with, um, uh, what is it called, uh, with carbon fiber. I mean, shit, I just want to paint it like that. That on that is just going to look sick anyways. Um, another thing I need to do is work on those. I need to close those gaps. I had to actually cut those out so that I can make those vents visible. Because I want... I'm going to be using this on track. I'm going to be using this shit. Like, for, like I'm, I'm going to be using the vents. I'm not going to be just showing off that, I, oh, I got vents, but they don't really work. So, that's what I got going on here. I'm probably just going to have them paint this matte black on the bottom and then Nissan red on, on the top. RS1's the same. I actually have um, carbon fiber vent slats on that, so it's going to be pretty fucking cool. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully I'll get all these videos posted around the same time. Some of the videos I put in it. Um, 
see how I go. That shit sounded really fucking good. When you sit in the car, let's go sit in the car for a minute, man. Let's get that over there. Ooh, shit. Hopefully the car doesn't flip. Okay, there we go. So when you're in the car, this is what it, I mean, it's just, the car, feel you feel a fucking vibration that you didn't feel before. Um, I was feeling a little vibration before, but that's because the engine was touching the side of the chassis. That was bad news. That's not what I was trying to fucking go for, was broken car. Um, now, I had the solid mounts. It's not touching the sides of the car at all. Um, it's just on the engine mounts and on the trans mounts. So it's fucking, but it fucking feels good. It feels like I'm in a race car, dude. Like, I don't know if you've ever been in a race car at like motocross or, you know, like a proper one where they solid mounted everything and, and the shit just, the whole car vibrates. It's not annoying vibration. It's actually, it's just like a pleasant, I mean, I'm on metal uh, jacks that are on the ground. So that's probably amplifying it a bit because it's the engine on the jacks on a concrete floor. I don't know how it's going to be with the tires, but if it's like this on tires, fuck yeah, this is badass. So I kind of like where I went. And as you can see, the, uh, the gauges are still solid and fucking loving life. I just calibrated my fucking ECB one. So my AFR should be clicking right. It's actually a little rich, which is right because the tune isn't finished yet. Remember I was talking about the gauges before? I was talking about that back bit. See, that's how it looks like from a passenger view. It looks finished. That's that's going on a tangent because anybody did the fucking gauges. I don't even need looking at this video, I'm sure. But, yeah. Dude, I'm feeling this. Um, I'm going to get out of here before I get carbon monoxide poisoning and die in my own car. But I fucking love it. If you're going to pull your motor, you can do it. I fucking did it, and I did it, and I did upgrades to the car, and it's badass. Um, I'm really loving it. The only thing having a, having a, a, a fucking tiff right now is the titanium wrap. It's smoking because it's, it's curing on the pipes. So it looks like it's smoking because it's something's getting you know, burned up, but it's actually just the titanium wrap. I made sure. I just looked at all the clearances and everything. Nothing's touching. So, I'm pretty fucking excited. I can't wait to, uh, again, once I got the IC pipes and the uh, MT-85 back in the trans, um, I'm going to take it for a spin this weekend. Um, if everything looks good, I'm going to give, uh, well, I want to wait the temperatures to go to go up a little bit. I at least want to hit 60, 70 degrees before I start trying to tune the car. I don't want I don't want my tire seat you know, pulling out when I'm trying to hit the gas. Um, hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll have this car fully tuned, flex fuel, the whole fucking nine uh, coming up. All right, guys, see you later. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. I love to fucking uh, help out wherever I can. Um, I'll tell you what tools I use, the shit that I worked with, everything. Um, the process, it is a process. Um, you just got to be willing to do it. All right, talk to you guys later.